So just like every bright and beautiful day, I start my day with a glass of water, maybe two or three depends on how thirsty I am when I wake up. After my chores and whatever I have to do, I start cooking. You mean bread and butterfly? Oh yes, of course. Hmm? Just before I start cooking, before I turn the gas cooker on, I like to cut my vegetables because I do not want what I'm cooking to burn and i do not want to rush so i take my time to slice my vegetables so i cut up some peppers now i'm just gonna cut the onions so breakfast today is noodles you guys know noodles are very easy to prepare and they are delicious very very tasty noodles so yeah i have a pack of noodles and this is the smallest indomie pack and you're probably wondering how would anyone survive on a small pack for breakfast <laughs> breakfast is supposed to be heavy right that's what they told you well i am trying to lose some weight now and portions play a huge part you know the amount of calories you take in matter a lot so i'd rather just use this hack that i created to make my breakfast more but without having to use more pack of noodles so just watch what i'll do with this to have more food in my plate so i'm chopping up cow cuts cow cuts also known as spring onions that's what they call them here in nigeria guys these are like my favorite things to use when cooking i love 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 this they just make food taste great anyways while the noodles is cooking on the fire i went to slice the remaining vegetables because these are the things i'm going to use to add and increase my portion so i'm putting in the pepper and the onions and i'm just going to add a drop of oil and the spice I'm just going to wait for this to dry up. So for this breakfast, I am adding eggs to this. Um, I already have some vegetables in the plate, just my onions and pepper. And I'm frying two eggs, whisking it now. Um, and I'm going to fry them. So this is me frying my eggs and I honestly do not understand what was happening here with these eggs, but I promise you, I can flip eggs. <laughs> I have no idea why the eggs were incorporating with me. I don't know, maybe it was because I was filming and the eggs were just giving me this attitude and they were just, they just wanted to give me a hard time. And maybe they wanted to disgrace me on air, like, you know, online. So people would think I don't know how to cook. But I promise you, I can actually, I can actually flip eggs. And at some point, I was just like, Ben, dang it, I'm just going to flip these eggs. <laughs> and I did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, I flipped it and I just waited for it to get ready the way I like it. So I added cooking bars and chopped carrot. As you can see, my plate is full. And of course, you know how cooking bars help with weight loss and they're just healthy. So this is what I made for breakfast. And yeah, it really hit guys. Try this recipe and thank me later. On this day, I did not have any major work to do. It was just a lazy day. I was home all through. You know that day where I just resting and you know mindlessly scrolling through your phone, doing nothing in particular. Although I had a video to edit, which I did, and um, I was going to upload a video also on this day. So my laptop died, and I was waiting for the light to come back on, and that was what I did. But it did not come back on, so i packed up my stuff and put them back in their place and i began craving something so i went to the refrigerator to see what i could snack on usually i don't do lunch like i don't take lunch it's just it's just me um but i wanted something to drink so yeah i had a cup of juice and this served as lunch for me
yay so it's finally night time and it's time to make dinner tonight i am having spaghetti you know just enough for myself as you can see this is something i've already used before so i'm just making little spag pasta or spag whatever you call it so yeah i'm putting that in the pot of boiling water i do this to help me wash off the extra starch that um, spaghetti or rice that makes spaghetti or rice sticky now it's time to cut my veggies so unlike breakfast i am cutting my vegetables after putting the spaghetti on the fire like um you know they have different cooking time so i can actually put my spaghetti on the cooker while i go cut my vegetables yeah so that's just what i'm doing Yes, cow cuts again. <laughs> yeah, so let me know in the comment section if you also use this to cook. I feel like this thing is very underrated, especially here in Nigeria, and I cannot understand it. Like people know it, it's very popular. You see it in the market, but people hardly ever use it to cook. They would rather use the other onions, like you know, the onion bulb, what's it called now? The red onions, like the, the yeah, you know what I'm talking about so i'm just creating some carrots yeah so i can add that to the pot of spaghetti and now it's time to cook i put in my vegetable oil and once it's hot i put in some onions it can fry I add the already sliced pepper and tomatoes and I let it dry till it's dry and um, I go in next with my seasoning, some seasoning cubes. And then I add um, garlic and ginger powder and I stir and you know let this just fry before adding the spaghetti next thing i'm gonna put is the salt well for me i just like to add the salt when i put in the spag or the rice like i like to see the quantity of whatever i'm doing before putting the salt so, so i don't go make mistake and yeah i put in some fish i missed that part now that it's almost ready i add the onions and some carrots yeah i put in the carrots now and yeah guys this is it okay dinner is ready my pot of spaghetti is ready and yeah so i went to the refrigerator to snack on some coconut dates and um, what are called tiger nuts yeah okay guys so i just finished cooking i have this mess behind me to clear up yeah so this is what i eat today and um remember as you said Make sure to watch your questions, make sure you don't overeat. So I'm just gonna go eat now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in my next one.